Hey guys, we're headed, hi, we're headed out to Cozumel to go exploring uh, for a little bit and uh, we're going to have some fun. Well, they're up there filling my water bottles now. I got to meet them. We got to go down, get the heck out of here. So I will try and get you some video out there unless my phone dies, but yeah, fingers crossed it doesn't. <laughs> See you later guys. Hey guys, we're on the gangway. We're walking. This Carnival Conquest just came in also. And she, you can see the waves under there. She's she's pushing sideways to get up to the dock so they can unload. So there will be more people down here <laughs> than just us. But here we go. And look at this water. I mean, wow. Blue, clear, gorgeous. Definitely not at home in Galveston. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so when you come off, there's all these picture opportunities. You can say yes or no to them. And then if you say yes, they'll be... The pictures will be available digitally to purchase. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go uh, walking. So there we are. There's dad, mom, and son. And there's the little bicycle things. All right, talk to you in a minute. Okay, this is Cozumel. So this is at the dock. They're just store after store after store after store. So you can get whatever you want out here. Nick's had it, his feet hurt. <laughs> Drugstores, t-shirts, Panama Jack, tons of jewelry stores, restaurants, anything here you can imagine. And then once you keep walking forward and you make a right way down there, uh, you can get out to the taxi cabs and stuff. So that's basically what this area is. Just spend your money <laughs> and get some souvenirs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here's in the center of the Cozumel area, so we saw turtles in here one time, and they're supposed to be, you saw something? It's supposed to be iguanas in here. Ooh, there's a pen, that's in there. Oh, there's turtles! Oh, look at him, he's got his head up and everything. There he is. Where is he in the film? There he is, right down there. See him? Oh, and there's another one. The water. This is so good. Oh, I love the one on the rock. The little baby on the rock. So cute. There's more? Awesome. I have to turn slowly so I don't make anybody dizzy. Look at the little tiny one. Hi, baby. So get out of here. I don't want to be on camera. So cute. Turtles. Yeah, the little one, the big ones. And then did you see them over here? Look at all of them. Look at the one sunbathing. He's sunbathing. These are down there. Oh, so cute. There's supposed to be iguanas in here, but uh, did you see any yet? Yeah, me either. They're harder to find. So cute in here. Turtle, turtle. I like all the plants too, they're so oh, cool looking. One. Oh my gosh, that's an iguana. Holy guacamole. Look at that monster. Holy moly. Hi baby. How you doing? He's sunbathing. There's a bird, but we see those at home. That is so cool. Look at that sucker. He just opened his mouth. He's so big. Just sunbathing, minding his own business. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, for them to stay cool in. It's a big old one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iguana. 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 Oh, and they're recording as a bush. Oh, I know. I was trying to get him. There he is. Come over here. Or you can go down there. He's so cool. Oh, that's perfect. Hi, baby. All right, he just found two more. Well, you found two more. Ooh. Hi there. Hi there, little iguana. Where'd you see another one? Oh, okay. Ah. 
Holy guacamole, look how big that dude is. Right down there on this side of the bush. That is monstrous. I don't see it. It looks like a stick, but that's an iguana. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it now. Dang. That thing comes in my house, I'm moving. You see a big cross thing, Sandra? It's right yeah. down, right down yeah, beneath those trees. Oh, no, there's two. There's a bigger one. Oh, he's moving. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You stay there, Mr. Iguana. I like him from a... Here's what they refer to as a beach <laughs> right here. I mean, there's beautiful beaches in Cosmo, but this is not... I mean, it's beautiful, but it's not really a beach. You can't get in the water. But you can kind of pretend you are. There's all the ships. So there's a carnival ship in. Down there is a celebrity ship. That's the Conquest. And then that's the breeze that we're on. So the Conquest, wow, does not have a slide on top. Hmm, interesting. And I think, I think ours is bigger. Okay, so we're about done here. I think my parents, the heat have, has got to them. It's a bit warm and sunny. I'm the only one that really likes the heat. So, uh, yeah, they've all, they're all, see, they're in front of me. They're all abandoning me. My son's way down there. There he is. But, <laughs> uh, so you got Piranha Joe's, you got Del Sol, you got all those stores. And then you got cute little restaurants and stuff. I think this thing is hysterical. I'm like, I guess there's an issue with chewing gum. But yeah, they got like little bands down here. And then they have some photo up things up here I'll show you. Uh, let's see if I can get to them. So there's one right there. There's an alligator that you can sit on, take a picture all these awesome Mexican made items. There's another one. I want to look at it on the, the restaurant. You're sitting on swings. That's, that is cool. There's a donkey. You can take a picture with the jester. Free daiquiri samples. You know, you can't lose. You can take it with the, the feet. Very cool. Okay. There go my parents. In the little cart. <laughs> Nick and I are going hardcore walking. But there they go. Well, our steward's been in our room and he cleaned everything up. So there's, he keeps making my bed even though. I sleep on the balcony. But anyway, he made the bed and look at our little animal today. So we have this one. I'm not quite sure what animal that is. Is it a... I'm not sure. And then he left our old one too. So that's kind of funny. Okay, well I'm going to try and figure out where the heck my parents just went to. Because they were ahead of us and didn't wait. And now I don't know where they are. And then after that, we're going to go play some, either get lunch and play games or do something until it's time to play games. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay, this is the fifth floor of the cruise. So, on these evenings, you can see all these little backdrops here and these photographers will take pictures for you. And then they will uh, have them digitally available if you choose to purchase them. Then there's all these little other... Like this hanging thing is a picture opportunity. So I hid a duck up in this tree. So I'm gonna casually go by and see if somebody's found it yet. Uh, let's see, let's let these people go so I don't point out the duck on accident. This is one of the bars, it's the Red Frog Bar. So I put him up in this tree. There he is, see him up there? So he's still up there, so nobody's found him yet. See him? There he is. So hopefully somebody will find him and like him. But let's go down the hallway. So outside here, that's how you get in the hot tub. So here's one out here. Look at them, they're taking a picture with a family all in this little sombrero. So it's adorable. Uh, anyway, here's one of the hot tubs. There's a bunch of them. And you go outside. Oh, the moon's out. So pretty. I'll take that there in a minute. 
But as you walk down here, so you got the Red Frog Pub, which is a bar. They also play games. They have these gaming tables out here. There's a um, shuffleboard table in there and an air hockey table that you can play your games on, which is really cool. This is the sushi bar. I mean, sushi restaurant kind of thing. That is an extra charge, though. If you like that, you can have that for lunch or for dinner. And come down here. And then there's going to be entertainment going on because it's the evening. So here's another photo op. Let's see what this one is. Thank you for dancing. Oh, that's pretty. Now look in these little um, bushes, these plants, because sometimes people will hide ducks in there. This is the coffee bar that I love. It's got like specialty drinks and stuff. And then look at these desserts I'm going to show you. I'm probably not going to talk because they can't hear me, but look at these desserts. gallery here so here's where you can look at the online pictures they've taken of you and decide if you want them or not and they just send them they could send them to your phone for you so that's pretty cool and you could print them out on your own and now we're going into the casino so this is the large casino on this ship on the breeze there's always a bar of course and there's a smoking side and a non-smoking side and it's always crowded in here. And it's open very late and very early. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people love it. So I get a free $25 in here because I'm a platinum carnival person. So um, they give me a free $25 to gamble with. Usually takes me probably a minute or two to lose that. <laughs> but it's a minute or two of fun. And uh, yeah, so I gotta go collect that still. And then once you, ooh, ooh, a lot of smoke. <laughs> okay, phew, that's done. Okay, and then out here is the three-story lobby where you saw us playing trivia down below, but here are the stores. So you got your cherry on top, which is a candy store. Um, of course, it's a bit pricey, but they do have some cute stuff on there, or you can send gifts to people's rooms or whatever you wanna do on here bring home some souvenir stuff so that's pretty cool and then you've got your just regular carnival store t-shirts you can see in here t-shirts sunshine lotion that kind of stuff you might need that you forgot here's a deal they have going on they always have deals here's another deal two for fifty dollars or thirty dollars a ring here's fifty percent off Here's two for 60 t-shirts, I mean, uh, sweatshirts. You got t-shirts in there. That's pretty cool. They've got a violent, here, you get beauty and fragrances in there. And right now, we got some dancers going on. We got our violin players. Pretty cool, I love this. <laughs> So you can buy perfume here and everything. It, I think it's a good price. I'm not so sure I don't buy that kind of stuff normally. Um, but again, you're not gonna pay taxes. Uh, they always have a machine up here if you want to get, you know, ATM machine, liquor. You can buy lots of liquor on here. Uh, they've always got the artwork around, which is available for purchase. And then at the very end, oh, and cigarettes, they have cigarettes in there. And at the very end here is the Ovation Theater. Right now they're playing Deal or No Deal. 
so you can play games and win things. I missed the start of it. I really wanted to play, but our dinner took too long and I missed it. But that's kind of cool, but it's a three-story uh, theater where they do shows and they do games in there and they have uh, talks in there for you about... Um, like where where like they'll talk about you know your next port, what's there, what you should do, what you should look for, if there's any deals going on. And of course, I'm always looking around at little spots like um, here, hiding here, or on top of pictures or things to see if anybody hit a duck. But <laughs> I've only found one so far. Well, that's yeah, I'm crazy like that. And then here's another store. They've got purses and clothes and things in here. They do have designer bags. Um, but again, I'm not sure the pricing. So here you go. So they always have this deal too. They've got like $10 deal all the time. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, here's the store. Very neat. There's another ATM. They sell um, chains by the inch, so you can buy that there. It's kind of cool. And here's their jewelry. They've got name brand stuff in here, Seg Hauer and all kinds of stuff. So if you're into all of that. And then that's basically my little tour of the fifth floor. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. I just wanted to show you some of the, sorry about a lot of breath, I just walked up all the stairs, but here's some of the, that's really cool, decorations that people put on their doors, just give you ideas, oh, here's the corridors, kind of looks like it's a shining, you know, the corridor goes forever, <laughs> but anyway, this is a cute idea, get just little magnets and sticking them all up there, that one's really cute. That's really cool. I have that t-shirt on right now. That's kind of funny. So, yeah. There's another little one. So you could use magnets, or you can use command hooks, anything that can come off and not disturb, of course, you know, the, the ship. So it's a little one. But they also, these are your little mailboxes. They'll leave your notices in there, or um, like they'll leave my invite to the party I get to go to. Um, if I decide to, they'll leave your room key there, they'll leave, um, excursion tickets there, stuff like that. So that was, that's what that is about. I'm actually on the wrong side right now. And you'll know that by this. So, when you get off the elevators, which are here, and you spin around to here, it always tells you that odd number ending rooms are on this side. Even number of ending rooms are on that side. I'm just gonna look out here for a duck. I don't see any. Sometimes they'll hide them above the doorways, by the stairwells. We'll look just in case. Um, yeah, anywhere. They can hide them anywhere. Uh, <laughs> you just have to be lucky enough to be the first one to find it. But yeah, I don't see any here. I just hid one like down there on a different stairway for someone to find. Sometimes I put them on top of a phone. But yeah, I'll hide them anywhere. I don't see any. Here's another little decoration. Somebody made those. And then of course, when you get to the ends here, it'll tell you which way to go for your cabin. This is pretty cute. That's cute. So this is my way, and we'll go here. If you get the drink package, please decorate your cabin door because you're gonna be a little tipsy after 15 drinks a day, and uh, it's an easy way to find your room. So <laughs> uh, there's mine. So mine's easy to find. Okay, anything else? I wish they did. They got this one. Congrats to too many years. That's really cute. Congrats. That's very cute. Okay, I'm gonna go into my room now. And I think I'm going to watch a movie out on the balcony and uh, have a good time because 
there wasn't anything else going on right now that I wanted it to do. So I thought I'd take a chance and kind of hang out on the balcony because that's something I can't do at home is hang out on a balcony and hear the ocean. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get going. There's our animals together. Look how cute they look. <laughs> Why my parents luggage is out is beyond me. Uh, it's a whole other story. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think I showed you all this, right? Yeah, I showed you all the storage and all that kind of stuff. There's all my hanging stuff. So anyway, I'm going to take my blanket and my pillows off my bed. Take them out to my balcony. Have a great time. Actually, let me take you out there. So, you can see what it's like tonight. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, I hit a chair. Sorry. Anyway, as you see, we're traveling along the coast of Mexico from Cozumel to um, Progreso, which is the, I think it's Yucatan, right? Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's Yucatan. So we're seeing the coastline there, some lighting going on. It's just beautiful. Um, smoke coming off the top from cooking up there. We got some people chilling out down here. We got some more chairs you could chill out on if you didn't have a balcony. There's my beautiful wave sounds. Can't see the moon from this side. I showed you it earlier, so it is out there. But uh, yeah, pretty darn cool. So we're not moving as fast as we were before because I'm, I don't think it's very far from Cozumel to Progreso. And we left Cozumel, I think around five or so. I know they had a board by 4.30. We left at five or 5.30, something like that. And we'll get to Progresso, I think around, um, well, we get to get off the ship tomorrow, I think around 9.30 or so. So yeah, it's a lot of hours overnight to get a short distance. So they just go a little slower. And uh, there's not as much waves, but it's still gorgeous. It's warm. It was 83 in Cozumel. It's supposed to be 87 in Progresso with a chance of afternoon storms, thunderstorms, but just a small chance in some places it's set. But it looks like the land ends about here. And then I saw something just blink out there, but otherwise, I don't see anything out there. It's amazing. I just love this. I just, oh my gosh, I love this. I could do this all the time. <laughs> that is why I have a dream to live by the ocean. We'll see if that ever comes to fruition or not, but yeah. It just soothes my soul. Just makes me happy. But yeah, so. Anyway, I hope you're doing something that soothes your soul and makes you happy too. Do it. Do it. Time is short. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Love my my um, telling you what to do. Sorry about that. But anyway, I'll, I just checked a little while ago and I'm, what am I, like 409 subscribers or something like that. So that's amazing. You guys are awesome for hitting that like button and that subscribe button and that notification and share button and everything else you do and for the comments i adore the comments so keep them coming and uh, i will keep this cruise coming to you guys so yeah i'm sorry i forgot to take anything at dinner uh i had what did i have i had a uh, italian soup as an appetizer and my dinner i had um lamb and uh, leg of lamb and uh, fingerling potatoes and then for dessert I just had a tropical uh, fruit plate so it had one grape on it which was weird um, and then it had pineapple which I love watermelon which I love and then it had cantaloupe and honeydew which I do not eat so my son ate that but um, yeah so my parents my dad's up 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 on, on the high deck just staring out at the ocean as I'm doing right now. He loves that. Um, my mom's with him. And then um, my son called an early night tonight because there's no comedy tonight or anything. There's a break. So uh, he's in his room reading his book that he brought with him and just chilling. And I'm going to chill out here with my Netflix. I'm going to, no, I'm going to Hulu and chill. Well, no, I know that has a different meaning. I'm going to Hulu and relax. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to let you go. So I hope you're enjoying all of this. And um, it's some good content for you. And I love bringing it to you and sharing this with you. Just as I enjoy watching others, YouTubers, who share their lives. And uh, so I thought I'd do the same. And I enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoy watching it. I hope you're enjoying everything. I miss my Bella. <laughs> That's the only thing I do miss is my Bella. So uh, I will be happy to get back to her, not back to real life and no job in the home. Yeah, all that crud. But uh, I'm having a good time. I'm forgetting about that. I am checking my emails. I've gotten two more rejection letters, which is always a thrill. But I'm positive that when I get back and I get hard at work again, looking for work. I'm going to find that amazing job. I'm just going to do it. It's going to happen, right? Right. Uh, it has to happen so I can go on another trip and you can come with me. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys later. I did splurge a little and I bought a candy bar. Then I'm going to snack them while I'm watching my movie. And I have to report that that price was not exorbitant. Um, I got a Twix bar and it was $1.50. So a good size Twix bar. So not that bad. Uh, the candy store is... I think it was three, oh man, I was just in there, three ninety nine or three forty nine, one of the two, uh, per quarter pound of candy. So keep that in mind if you bring a child on a cruise or you have a sweet tooth, uh, keep them out of that store, keep yourself out of that store, bring candy with you from home. That's a lot less expensive. And you can have treats in your room. Not that there isn't enough treats everywhere on the ship, but if you want something special, bring it with you. Um, but there is uh, desserts upstairs on Lido Deck right now. They do have late night snacks uh, at midnight. So cookies, cakes, yeah, all that kind of fun stuff. So you won't be missing out on anything. And ice cream, of course, till um, I think midnight. The ice cream is cut off. Pizza's 4 a.m. I can't imagine eating pizza at 4 a.m. My stomach could not handle that anymore. Anyway, I keep saying I'm going to let you go, and I just keep jabbering, so I'm going to let you go. Okay, guys, thanks for spending this time with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, thanks for sharing my life with me. Okay? Love you guys. Bye.